Hi guys, Thomas here again for Your Guitar Academy, back with the last video in the mini-series of Bruno Mars' 24 Carat Magic. Doesn't get any easier to say, no matter how many times I say it. But in this video, we're going to be looking through the bridge, playing through it, breaking it down the same way as before with the rhythm and what the chords are. So if we need a recap, let's have a listen. One, two, three, four, one, So much like the pre-chorus, it's a bit of just more atmospheric playing, there's not much rhythm happening on the guitar, so the chords that we're using initially are C minor 7 and a B flat minor 7, and to play those following the same theme as what's going on in the rest of this song, I'm not going to play a big chunky bar chord, which you might naturally go to, I'm just going to take the notes that appear on the E, B, G and D strings there to cut out any beefy low end. So I'm just barring along the 8th fret of those strings. So that's the first chord, and the second chord is the B flat minor 7, so just moving that exact same shape down 2 frets. And rhythm wise it's a bit interesting because it doesn't start on the first beat, it actually starts on the third beat of the bar, and the B flat comes on the fourth beat before it's held for an entire bar, interestingly enough. So you've got one beat of the C and five beats of the B flat. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you'll notice that whenever it repeats, I'm letting the first and the second beat rest, there's no sound happening there, one, two, three, so the only sound you're hearing is bang on the third beat with the C minor. So that makes up most of the bridge, that repeats three times, and then instead of repeating the fourth time, we actually get some different chords. So two new different chords, first we're going with a B flat, sorry, a D flat major seven, but not like before, I'm going to go with this voicing, which is just your A bar chord shape. So bar on the 4th fret with the 1st finger, and then on the D string it's my 3rd finger on the 6th fret, G string is 5th fret with my 2nd finger, and the B string is the 6th fret with my 4th finger, and then the bar on the high E string. And then the 2nd chord is a slash chord, so this is where the bass note and the actual chord don't match up. So we're doing an actual E flat major chord but the bass note is going to be F. So to do this, I'm moving up to the 8th fret and I'm barring from the A string to the B string. And there you can see on the D, G and B strings I've got the E flat chord and on the A string I've got the F bass. So that's a slash chord. And that goes like 1, 2, 3, 4. And to finish it off we've got the same old walk up bass line which is 6 on the E string, 8, 9, and then 6 on the A string. So let's play that along with the drums all together, see if you can follow along and get through it. Ready for the next bit? One, two, three, four. So that makes up the whole of the song. That was of course the bridge and through the rest of the mini series we've got all parts of the song now. So I encourage you to practice them at a slow tempo until you're comfortable with the chords, you can move them around, build the speed up until eventually you can play along with the track because it's so great and so much fun to play along. Hopefully you've got something out of this rhythm wise, maybe you've played a bit more diverse rhythms than you're used to, and harmony wise you've played some new chords or some new voicings for the normal chords that you know already. Okay, that's been it for me, Thomas, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.